My name is Ngo Tang Yan. I'm Stephanie Crispin. My name is Brandon. I'm Jin Sin. My name is Haruki Eda. I'm an Asian American. I want justice for Akai Gurley. I'm a Vietnamese American living in New York. I demand justice for Akai Gurley. 20 years ago, a 16 years old Chinese student, Yong Chin Huang, was killed by the police. I have been demanding justice for him. I demand justice for all victims of police brutality in New York. There are countless times when police officers are being particularly brutal or um, violent against public housing residents because um, we are seen as criminals and there is a huge lack of empathy when police officers are interacting with public housing residents. With Peter Liang was entered Akai Gurley's building. That's why his first instinct when he heard like a simple noise was to reach for his gun. Being like a Trinidadian American, being mixed with like Asian and black, like I see like both perspectives from like like what it's like to live in both communities. I'm, like walking with my cousins, like who identify more on their like black sides, uh, they'll get stopped. And you know, that's not something I always experience. But usually when I'm with them, they'll experience it and they kind of, it's unfortunate, but it is like something that happens on a regular for them. And it happens for a lot of low income, darker skinned communities. As someone who both has black and Asian heritage, I don't want to be used as a wedge for either community. It's important for me as a Filipino American to stand in solidarity with a Kai Gurley's family. Filipinos are disproportionately affected by police brutality as we have a high undocumented population. With ICE raids and anti-immigrant sentiment here in the city and on the national discussion, I don't see how this couldn't have happened to my family or to my friends. That's why I think that Filipinos especially should stand in solidarity with Akai Gurley's family. I am a third generation Korean from Japan. In my community of Koreans in Japan face discrimination around employment, housing, and all aspects of our lives. We are required to carry an identification card. And if they are stopped by the police and caught without the identification, it's considered a crime. So systemic racism exists beyond the United States context. When I moved to the United States, I lived in the Bay Area. And in 2010, Oscar Grant was killed by the transit police. And that's when I made the connection in my head that systemic racism uh, impacts pe people of color in the United States, just like Koreans in Japan. I'm an Asian American, and I demand justice for Akai Gurley. And all victims of police violence. I'm an Asian American, I want justice for Akai Gurley, and all killer cops should be held accountable. We need justice.